In this week's Star Wars Rebels episode, Ezra, Hera, Zeb and Chopper find themselves caught up in a risky escort mission following Senator Mon Mothma's traitorous actions against the Empire. As a result, the heroes must utilise every trick in the book to outmanoeuvre the superior firepower of Governor Price and her band of Imperial fighters. The fight isn't straightforward by any means, but their efforts ultimately succeed, resulting in the birth of the Rebel Alliance. This episode is fantastic. In fact, it's one of the best Star Wars Rebels episodes I have ever watched. But what makes it so great? Well, to answer that very question, let's take a look at the ups and downs from Secret Cargo. Each week, Star Wars Rebels creeps ever so closer to Rogue One and it's fascinating to uncover how both interconnect, whether it's a small detail such as the use of ion cannons against Imperial Star Destroyers or the frickin' birth of the Rebel Alliance. As a result, on the flip side of the coin, it's also great to see events we've heard of before come to fruition. For example, Mon Mothma's speech against the Emperor's cruel actions. The Senator's refuge from such words led to abundant and incredible action sequences throughout the episode. The skirmish within the Archeon Nebula was particularly breathtaking. The sheer visuals alone were awe-inspiring. I mean, how can anything top watching a nebula engulf a pair of Star Destroyers? Wow, just wow. Speaking of the tension-filled firefight among the Archeon Pass, how great was it to see a prototype version of the TIE Defender? I never classed the reintroduction of this fighter as an up back in my review of An Inside Man as I wasn't prepared to geek out until the ship was more than a screen of blueprints. So time to geek out I guess. Man Dave Filoni is the king of reintroducing people and things from Star Wars Legends into canon. Secret Cargo is an amazing episode as displayed by the four ups and zero downs. That's right, I enjoyed the episode so much that I failed to spot any negatives. Rebels is on a roll right now and I sure hope it continues. Speaking of which, the 11th of March will mark the debut of Double Agent Droid, where Chopper and AP5 infiltrate an Imperial station to retrieve much needed codes, before an Imperial specialist turns the droids against their rebel colleagues. So let me know what you think about the premise of next week's episode as well as your thoughts on Secret Cargo in the comments below. Thanks for watching and for more Star Wars related content keep it locked here to the Kyrgyzans. With escalating outrages committed by the Imperial military, Mon had no choice but to speak out publicly against the Emperor. She addressed him directly as a lying executioner in a widely broadcast Hollowneck proclamation. Such treason escalated Mothma to the peak of the Empire's most wanted list, forcing her to flee Coruscant and resign as the Senator of Chandrilla. However, her declaration encouraged several resistance movements to band together and form the Alliance to restore the Republic. 